<clears throat> all right shalom alaikum first and foremost i'd like to give all praise and glory to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham racha kodash i like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great mills i like to say shalom to the elect that's teaching his word in all true faith and sincerity and today i just want to get into a lesson uh pretty much concerning the testimony of your house shot and the benefit of, of possessing it is salvation man to be preserved and kept from the said perils you know taking heed to prophecy matter of fact let's start off with that in the book of second peter chapter 1 and verse 19 it reads we have also a more sure word of prophecy see the things that we're found on we're sure why because it has came from the faithful witness our Lord Yahushua this doctrine you know that we possess beginning with the apostles and elders of great mills now this is a sure word of prophecy, man. And in that, things will become clear. Because this is, matter of fact, it says, it says, one, two, ye do well that ye take heed. See? It will be well unto you to take heed unto this, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. And as you can see, that's what prophecy is um is being compared to this light you know now you can look into the future because that's darkness and you see darkness is five minutes from now you don't know what will take place but by the way of us having this word the testimony how shy which is the spirit of prophecy we have the light to see into the future man you know and ultimately by having that You don't you wanna be you want to succumb to the as I mentioned earlier, the said perils, those plagues that is said to take place on the planet Earth. Proverbs twenty two and three it says a prudent man foreseal the evil, see? And hideth himself. So that's what happened. Once you receive his word, the Lord had caused our eyes to open. And now we seek refuge. This is trusting in this truth, in this word. This doctrine. That's trusting in the Lord. That's trusting in Yahweh by Shemal Shah. By leaning on the doctrine, holding fast to this word. And now, you're hiding yourself. You, you, uh, again, you know, it talks about girding up the loins of your minds. Putting on the arm of the Most High. Which is, you know, having this word, man. It says, a prudent man foresee of the evil and hide of himself. See? So as you can see, foresee of and prudence is go it goes hand in hand, man. And that will lead you to be kept. Though I say he hide of himself. It says, but the simple pass on and are punished. See? And you can see as well that a hey, the wise and the simple. I mean the the, the uh yep, the wise and the simple. You consider wise in the eyes of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know, possessing wisdom. You will be kept, but the fools is going to die, man. You know? So let's get some real quick. The book of Psalm 19, going back to how this word is compared to light. Uh, well, Psalm 19, and I started verse 7, it reads The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. See, this testimony is sure, and now we're being made wise unto salvation. We're being made privy to what's taking place on the planet Earth, and that, and in that, uh, once we heard the report, I also talked about it. Now, uh, have a, I've heard that speech. I was afraid. 
and pretty much in wrath remember mercy because now you know we know what to pray for you know there's certain things that we are anticipating you know having this but you know possessing the spirit of prophecy you let things go because you know it's, a, it's coming to an end you don't have a, attachments to certain things now all that comes with having the testimony of your house which is the spirit of prophecy you've been made wise you know oh it talks about a wise man discern of both time and judgment you know it said the statutes of the Lord are right rejoicing the heart the commandment of the Lord is pure enlightening the eyes so hey it said the law the testimony the statutes the command is all the same thing which is this this word this doctrine man the book in in, in its entirety because jake when they see the law and the statutes the law statute commandments the nigga lose it man but what about the test said the testimony it all goes back to this word man and it just boxed in to the 613 laws. You know what I mean? It's the book as a whole. It says, um, yeah, that's the point, though. It said enlightening the eyes. So just going back, having this word is being compared to a light. And now you've been enlightened on the evils. You know, now you can be kept. Now you can uh, brace for the impact. That's why I could just going back, as I mentioned in the book of, uh, I mentioned on um, Peter, it says, uh, gird up the laws of your mind, as well as putting on the whole armor of the most high, man. You know, that we, that we will be able to withstand in the evil day, man. You know? So matter of fact, let's get something real quick in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter. Because when you read this, it's, it ultimately is this it's really a warning. You know? It's really going into a, a, a warning, man. And the results of you not hearkening. So I'ma jump down. I'ma jump down to um really the whole thing cold, but um I started at 27. It reads, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, and as you can see, one of the words that stuck out is when, because ultimately, these things are inevitable. It's, it's going to happen. You know? Nothing you can do to overturn the judgments of your house by a small shot. You're going to Somehow, you know what I mean? You're not going to use this, the famine in this scene. You know, we're going to scrap that. No, man. The will of the Lord is happening on the planet Earth. Ain't nothing's going to stop it. These, and, and the things that's going to bring forth the fear and, and the desolation, the distress, the anguish, that's going to come from these plagues that was, was warned of you about. You know, from the famine, the blackouts. You know, so that 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 that, that goes to the famine as well. When you go into that the blackouts, the lack of uh, power, that would lead to no running water. You know, a lot of these cities run through those have uh, pumps. They pump water throughout the city, depending on where you at. You know, because they don't use those those water towers. You know, they have it on the hill and gravity will feed, you know, the, uh, you know, water throughout. Now they're using these pumps, man. So when the power goes out, that means the water shuts out, you know. But these things, what's going to bring forth that distress and angles and the just desolation and the fear. That healthy fear is going to come back in a major way. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but... They shall not find me. See, because once you pretty much back against the road, you're gonna be you really gonna be looking for salvation. You ain't gotta necessarily call only how by a smell shot since you knowing the name. The nigga might just say JC, 
you know, a nigga might say you have a shot, man. You know, but ultimately they crying for deliverance to be saved. What are they saying? Help? Or are they screaming, oh shit. That in itself, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna and it says you're gonna do it early, you're gonna be diligently in seeking relief. Seeking Yahweh by Shema Shah. But you're not gonna receive it. The Lord's not gonna answer you. It says, For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. So that's what was presented unto you, man. The fear of the Lord was presented unto you by the way of this word, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. So that's ultimately that's why that's gonna be the results. They were none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. See, so ultimately that's why scripture talk about the way of peace they know not. And whosoever go ain't go of their end shall not know peace. So what is that? Destruction. You know? Why? Because once this word, this peace, because this is a peace offering from you, how about Shema Shah? And if you can't grasp, you don't understand what the Lord is doing, you know, you don't you, you don't understand that the Lord is stretching forth his arm in, in the form of a peace offering, you know. Once you know, uh, and you, you don't understand, you slap the hand away or you turn your shoulder. Now, what's the next thing to do? The Lord's just gonna, oh, now you pretty much is, is war. That's why the scripture talks about until the forward, the Lord is gonna show himself forward, until the prayer, uh, you know, the Lord's gonna, is gonna be prayer. That's why only the elect, and you know, will be drawn to the word, man. And will hearken. Because only those are the ones that equip to this. It says, matter of fact, continue on. It says, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. See? Going back to that simple again, as we read in Proverbs the 22nd chapter. You being simple is going to end up, you being put to death. And simple concerning this truth because this worldly knowledge is not going to do anything but it's going to dial this in that's all that's part of the works therein that's going to be burned up it's just understanding right here man that's why going back as we read in Psalms the 19th chapter how ultimately this testimony will make uh, the simple wise Making wise the simple, as it says. You know? So so possessing the testimony, hey, that's gonna lead to preservation. It said, and the fools, it's like in the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. It says, But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. See? Because now you're gonna be kept from those perils, those things that was said to come, man. That's the benefits of uh, holding fast to the testimony of Yahweh. You're going to live, man. Why? Because you hearkening unto the prophet. Matter of fact, we'll end off on that. Let's get that in the book of Ezekiel. Also, when you read St. Matthew the 10th chapter, it talks about that. Um, um, he that cometh in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. What's the prophet's reward? Deliverance. You know, to be saved. Be kept because what the prophet is said to do to warn you about the things, you know. So let's get this real quick. The book of Ezekiel 33. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get to the point. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I, st I started at four. Yeah, I just started at four. It says, uh, start at three. So like. If when he sealed the sword calm upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, and that's concerning the prophets, man. We see the sword coming. We see Esau coming down with great wrath. We see the chip coming. And what else could we do but blow? 
that trumpet. It's a, and it's a distinct sound when you read First Corinthians the fourteen chapter. It's nothing like we get when you hear us. You get a good feeling. Yeah, you know I mean, like it's you 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 wanna. Uh, yeah, you know I mean, you wanna uh, go on a picnic. That spirit. No man, it's a sense of urgency. And that's why I say he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take of not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. See? So if you're not hearkening, you're not holding fast, your blood's gonna be upon your own head, you're gonna die. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. You took it lightly. Because if you hear this trumpet, that's why I say, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Because uh, when you go into that word, uh, despise, one of the words, uh, pretty much the, uh, to take lightly, in a sense. See, it's insignificant. And that's why niggas scoff at it. It's no fear that they make mockery and parodies, not the truth. Not knowing this was uh, the the... the the gate to the kingdom, man. That 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 path to salvation. It says, "But he that take of warning shall deliver his soul." See, and that's and this, that's the te testimony of Yahweh man. Taking fast, holding fast to this, this would ultimately lead to your soul being delivered, man, being kept. And that's the spirit. The number will be sealed. That's the spirit right there. But it, it, you see, it goes back to taking heed. Taking heed to it, and ultimately that will lead to deliverance. So that's the benefits of this testimony, man. There's nothing, you know what I mean? Finna, uh, 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 it's something you can get off, off here in America. No, man, we hasten to get out of here. And if you still want to be, you're going to, be taken with this place. So yeah, I can I just hold it with edifying light to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rachah Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone. Shalom to the elect. That's teaching word and our true faith and sincerity. Shalom.